So this was yesterday's Memorial Day split screen. Joe Biden, following the government's guidance on wearing a mask in public, well, well, now when you say the you, you mean the government, you mean Donald Trump's administration's guidance. Correct. Well, you mean so we put the pictures up. There's Joe Biden. Doing what the White House doctor said you need to do. Wearing okay. masks as they recognize Memorial Day. Uh, first time they were out in a long time. And then President Trump, no mask. Uh, awkwardly standing. Uh, Trump made two public appearances yesterday without wearing a face mask. Biden, who emerged from his home for the first time in two months yesterday, wore one. The president uh, participated in the traditional wreath-laying ceremony at Arlington National Cemetery and then spoke at an event at Baltimore's Fort McHenry. Comparing the service of America's fallen soldiers to those serving on the front lines of the coronavirus pandemic. Joe Biden laid a wreath honoring fallen soldiers at a Delaware War Memorial and urged Americans to, quote, never forget their sacrifices. <clears throat> Biden, his wife and the members of his security detail all wore face masks. The former vice president and his staff were all so diligent when it came to social distancing. At one point, an aide could be heard telling reporters to, quote, back up when they tried to press in closer. Biden also caught the president's attention. Trump retweeted a photo of Biden in his mask, posted by Fox News's Brit Hume, mocking the former vice president, quote, this might help explain why Trump doesn't like to wear a mask in public. What I... Well, I, I, it, I, I think actually, a good example. Willie, I think what, what, it, shows, this, what it shows, what it shows saying is why actually Joe Biden is. is doing so much better than Donald Trump among seniors. Uh, why Joe Biden is doing so much better than Trump uh, in critical swing states like Pennsylvania and Michigan, uh, beating him in Minnesota and Wisconsin polls and Florida. Uh, Arizona. I mean, what have we heard from Donald Trump's White House? What have we heard from Donald Trump's doctors? What have we heard from Dr. Fauci? What have we heard from uh, Dr. Birx? We've heard that you wear a mask not for yourself. We're told that you wear a mask to protect others. And so Joe Biden doing that Actually, that's something every senior citizen whose life is at risk right now understands. And needs people to do. That one person is following the guideline that Donald Trump's White House said you should follow to protect seniors, to protect everybody. Choice. And one is not. That's, that's actually, that's a split screen in this pandemic that's killed nearly 100,000 people and taken so many from the greatest generation, that is a split screen that Joe Biden wins every time. Yeah, I mean, the criticism that Donald Trump amplified yesterday seemed to be that it didn't look cool on Joe Biden. Is that really where we are, that it doesn't look good to wear a mask? Is it about vanity? Donald Trump obviously has told many people that he thinks it's a sign of weakness, that he thinks it projects, the mask projects to the country that there's some panic, there's some concern. Well, guess what? There is. There is concern among most Americans about this, and they want to do everything they can. We talked about that Fox News poll last week that showed only 8 percent, single digits, 8 percent of Americans say they never wear a mask. So President Trump is casting his lot with the 8 percent because, as he amplified in that tweet yesterday, it might not look cool to have a mask on in the middle of a pandemic. Let's get more on this from NBC News correspondent Hans Nichols. He's live for us at the White House. Um, Hans, was there any consideration of bringing a mask along? He did wear one briefly in private at that Ford yeah. plant in Michigan last week. What about yesterday? Potentially. We, I mean, we don't have a great deal of visibility on what's happening behind the scenes when the president knows the cameras aren't clicking. And I, that's especially important in the context of mask wearing, because for the president, he's hinted at this. He's all right said it. It's almost a game to him. 
He doesn't want to give the press the satisfaction of snapping him in a photo with the mask. He said as much when he talked to the cameras a couple days ago last week when he was touring that auto factory, that plant out there in Michigan, I believe. So clearly, you guys have covered it pretty well. The president doesn't like the symbolism. Uh, he's made his decision on where he is on the symbolism side. Joe Biden has made his decision on where he is on the public health side. And at a certain point, namely on that first Tuesday in November, the voters are going to decide. But the president and the officials around him do not anticipate any changing of what they're calling the presidential protocol on mask wearing, which doesn't seem to be very much in line with what public health officials are saying. Guys? All no, right. Thank you so much. Public health officials. The doctors around him. Hans Nichols at the White House. Hans, thanks so much. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.